everybody, welcome back. Oh, shit, it paused again. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are playing Alan Wake. Uh, there's evil people that are right here. Look at how evil they are. So evil. I don't know. Well, you know how they're evil? You can tell they're evil. Why? Um, they're covered in shadow and they're wearing the same clothes. That's a good point. Like, all these people shop at the same place and they all have the same, the same kind of axe and everything. It's a little weird. A little strange. All right. End of the line. Ooh. So spooky. You, you know what I know? What kind of the additional tragedy of when I bought this game was? Yeah, sure. Uh, it was for me. It was between Red Dead Redemption and this game. Ooh, you picked and wrong. I did. That was what big biggest mistake of you my life. Picked was picking oh, Jesus Al Christ. Alan Wake over, over Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption. Redemption. Yeah, yeah. They came out around the same time, I think. And I was like, eh, you know, it's a cowboy game or this Stephen Kingy kind of game. Let's go with this one. I couldn't oh, get man, both. That's rough. Yeah, no. Nah, it's still like, hmm. I, you know, I have the choice between, you know, between, between this single piece of chocolate, which is pretty good, you know, or a fucking chocolate shop for the well, same when, price. Well, you know, when Judgment Day comes and they ask me, you know, what, you know, what are your regrets? This will be one of them. <laughs> it's one of them. Well, 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 a Padre, there was one time I got the wrong game. Oh, and maybe that guy I hit with my car. Yeah, maybe that guy, but he was kind of asking for it, to be fair. You know, just being there on the road. God, I love how Alan Wake's face always looks confused. Like, he, he, he does not ever appear to know what's going on. Which, I mean, you know what, I suppose well, I, I mean, can't blame fair, him that I, much. I don't either. Yeah, like, what the hell is this? Oh, my God. Oh, spooky. My name's Alan Wake. I have st st stupid hair and am just a generic protagonist. So spooky. Mm -hmm. I refuse. Oh, baby, just another nightmare. Ah. Okay, she is. She is horrifying. No, uh, 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 the real nightmare is now, and she just unhinges her jaws Why? and eats you. We were just playing Half Life Two. How is the facial animation better yeah. on Half Life Two than on Alan Wake? That's the because 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 you know you know what because people fucking loved that p p people put their lives into Half Life Two, whereas I think with Alan Wake, someone's like, hey, Stephen King books, right? And then here we are. Welcome to Bright Falls. Cool. It's kind of an ironic title given how fucking foggy this whole place is. I know, right? Also, where are we? We're like... Maine. If I had to guess, uh, Maine. Maine? You well, know what? Well, I mean, well, 90% of Stephen King's stories take place in Maine, so I'm guessing Maine. And, and, and you know why? I'll tell you why. Because goddamn no one has been to Maine. So no one knows what it looks well, like, all... so he can just make it anything he wants. Oh, isn't he from Maine? Maybe. I don't know. I would assume. Otherwise, that would just be a weird fixation you have. Hey, let's act like we're on vacation. I refuse. How do I kill myself? How, how, do, how does this vacation thing work? May, maybe I can drown myself in this lake. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's guns on the back of this guy's truck. Woof. What the fuck is Deerfest? <laughs> Who the, the fuck are you? Thing, the closest thing they have to like a music festival is Deerfest. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Can you kill me? Pat May, there you go. You know what, Pat? I do mind that. She's her own human being. I don't goddamn own her. What's wrong with you? Oh uh, no, people recognize me. I'm just gonna stand I'm just stand just stand, stand over here in the local. corner. How about fuck you? I'm on vacation. In fact, look at Alan. He's like so pissed off looking. He's kind of dickish. He is a dick. Alan Wake is a huge dick in this game. You can trust me to be discreet. You trust me discreet. Why? Why would I trust you to be discreet? Thank you, weird old guy. Oh my God! Why are we here? Why are we in this place, wife? We could go anywhere else. Hey, hey, Hi. don't sass me, lady. Oh, I got a phone call. Almost. Barry. Thanks, you're buddy. You're make sure we're left alone by yeah. coming here on a plane? What are you going to do, chase away people with a crowbar? Yeah, with the gun. He's going to kill people. I don't have creative juices, buddy. I will thank you to not discuss all my juices. 
Also, I love how he's trying to kind of like finagle you into yeah. writing another book. Glad you're on vacation. You feeling uh? You feel you feel like you want to write. <laughs> you feel like you want to write, and maybe make us some goddamn money. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. love. Look at her. Just how's like, she getting reception out here? Her facial animation is horrible. Oh, see that? She just like bounced to another face. All right, let's go back to this car that we don't want to be in. Yay, so excited. Oh, I opened the door. Why is this place so gray? Why would you say Mr. Carl Stuckey? Just say he's a guy named Carl. His name is Carl, and he's in the diner. How long does it take to get the key? I don't know, but look, sync with, with Microsoft. goddamn Microsoft. Product placement, fuck yeah. That's not what I said. That, that's not. That's not anything like what I said, Alan. <laughs> Alan, what for, are you doing? Th th thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. That's not what I said. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, he's like, God damn, I'm famous. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for. Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God. Oh God, no. He's people. like, oh, I fangirls. Hate. Just pull on a hoodie or something. Let me just be a dick. Carl Stucky. Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit. Like her face is really spooky too. Jeez, I wasn't this excited when I met Neil Gaiman. Yeah, I know, right? Like slot. And I love Neil Gaiman. Also, also, Matt. When they took it out of the window. <laughs> Way to goddamn brag. Well, not brag. You know, he was just doing a book. I books. mean, you know, when I well, met no. my personal no, I mean, hero, it's not like I he invited, was totally It's cool. not like he invited me to his hotel or something. I was like, I was like. Yo, Neil, what up? No, and, and we fucking he was did a fist signed, bump, he was, and he's like, you're the coolest fan I've ever met, Matthew. He was signing books in Washington Square Park, and I went to get a book signed. And then That's he literally... signed my butt. I made him do it. I mean, Matt, you can tell the truth. Well, fuck you, old guy. You're right <laughs> I don't, there. I don't owe you anything. We've just met. Who do you goddamn think you are? Is that my problem? What is wrong with you old people? Yeah, are you serious? Coconut again? Yeah, coconut again. Okay, to be fair, the recording session for these two talking to each other must have been a lot of fun. It must have been fun. Are you coconut again? I'm, a yeah, 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 I'm an old guy. I'm falling asleep. It's just like... I'm an old guy. I'm probably going to die in five minutes. I have pneumonia. And then they die. That's how that goes. All right. I turned on the song you wanted, you miserable bastard. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, I remember this being a little weird. What's up with you, old lady? Well, I am, I am like... You can, I, hurt, you can hurt yourself uh, in the dark. I'm like way too close. Alan Wake is a close talker. I, didn't want to wait. I, wanted to find to get the I, I don't know who's talking. I can't Two tell. Two people are talking. He's monologuing while she's talking. Yeah, okay, we're going to go. All right. Ooh, so spooky. Ma'am, could you get your... Voice out of my monologue. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. I'm ma'am. I'm trying to monologue here. Can't go in that one. I guess Carl is not not in the ladies' bathroom. Why are we meeting Carl in the Hello. men's room? Because Matt, he has to give us the key in exchange for but a wait, favor. But can't we wait until he gets out? No, the bathroom is required for the favor. Whoa! Hello. Oh, That's not creepy. Uh, That's not creepy as fuck, old lady. I wouldn't take money from that person. Yeah, I wouldn't take anything from a super spooky lady. I insist. You are creepy, and you need to let me sneer at you with my weird human face. So now you're just there, huh? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Hey, 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 back off. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, now we're go. Now we're going. Hey, weird old lady. Don't you have things to do? Do you have anything else to do? Nah, there's sleep. Uh, local musicians? Okay. Doctor. Great. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. This has been great. You people all suck. I'm gonna go look to I'm, a place uh, where people don't know me. I'm gonna go ha hang out with my super scary looking wife. And the directions. My hero. Did, does her face start moving, like, a, a not, before she talks? It's not terribly synchronized. Um, yeah. Wake! Mrs. Wake! Your, your keys! 
Well, then what the hell were we just given? Where the hell were you, Carl? It you was, you had like one someone, job, Carl. Well, it looks like someone hit him or something. Someone did hit him. It's, it was me. No, it was not me. I had not hit Carl. Though I kind of wish I did. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. Oh my god. I'm not a writer. Wait, no, I am a writer. Shit. Okay. Okay. We can talk about this later. Sure, let's talk about it later. That that always ends well. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Why did you write a word in two years, not since my last book? You realize Wait, you haven't authors... written a word in two years? So... Okay, go. <laughs> well, some authors take, you know, five years to write a book, so you're not that bad. You're not that... You're not, you're not, you're not that unprolific, I guess? Um... I mean, like, just because Stephen King cranks one out every six months... Well, he had cocaine to help with that. Well, I mean, he still does, and he doesn't... I don't, I don't think he still does That's cocaine. true. He's not still doing coke. But, no, but, but when he was doing coke, they were, like, even faster. Oh, yeah, well... Yeah, like, every, yeah, like, that's two or three does. months. That's what coke does. He, coke is the best every... But no, I'm kidding. It's not. It's terrible. Coke is don't not, do that. Coke is not sponsoring this. No, coke is not sponsoring way. this. Do not sponsor us the drug... Coke. A, a cocaine. <laughs> the, this this the episode drink brought coke. to you by the drug cocaine. <laughs> the drug... It's something, all right. <laughs> yeah, I wish. All right, everybody. Okay, we are okay, people. We're all done with this episode. Thank you very much of uh, for joining us. Uh, we got one more coming. We got a few more coming down the pipeline. So get excited, get ready, get pumped. We will see you next time. Um, damn it, keep hitting that don't, mic. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Um, uh, yeah. Well, unless yeah. you have a good reason. But unless you have, unless you have a damn good reason, like they're fun. No, I'm kidding. All right, everybody, uh, go. Uh, we will see you all next time on the show. Goodbye, everybody.